everybody we have another tutorial here this is a little Photoshop one for today uh, I wanted to show you how to take an image and make it look like it's a flag that's kinda blown in the wind so I just have a simple rectangle with a century gothic letter N in it and just trying to make one that looks kinda like a Nebraska Cornhuskers flag and it's on its own layer this image is 500 pixels by 500 pixels and uh, like I said the flags on its own layer and uh, you can use any image for this. I was just choosing something simple and then later on I'll make the background um, invisible so it, we have that on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to control T to use my transform tool and you'll notice when you do that up at the top we have a switch between free transform and warp mode. So I'm going to go to warp mode and over here it says warp and there are some different things we can choose. I want to choose the one that says flag. Alright, and for the bend, I'm going to choose negative 30. Uh, I don't want it to be too drastic, and I, I chose negative so that instead of it dipping down early, it, it looks like that. Okay, so um, we have that on there. Okay, then the next thing I want to do is I want to go up here to custom. Alright, and then it's going to give me this warp capabilities. I'm going to click and drag part of the flag and bring it in over here to kind of make that look cool. And then I'm also going to kind of maybe bring this over here. Uh, I dragged this one out a little bit and I brought this one. I could do kind of either way. It's, it's kind of up to you. That looks pretty good like this. Uh, once it's where you want it, then we can go ahead and hit enter, and then I'm just going to kind of use my arrow keys, or you can use the mouse to kind of center it back to where it should be. Alright, so that's the first step. Next thing we want to do is go to layer, then go to new layer, and for mode, I want to search through here, and I want to find the one that says hard light. Okay, so there's that, and then I want to fill with hard light neutral color 50% gray. Okay, so I'm going to click OK and it's going to create this layer right here. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to hold down control and I'm going to click in this little preview area down here in my layers panel and it's going to select around the flag. Okay, now I want you'll see I have the dotted lines, I have the marching ants going around the flag I'm going to go up to my layer 1 now, and I'm going to use Control shift i to inverse my selection to select the opposite of the flag. Then I'm going to push Delete, and uh, that way my layer 1 is the same size as my uh, flag down here. Okay, now I'm going to push Control d Okay, next thing we're going to do is I want to um, go to my Burn tool. All right, now the Burn tool you know I'm going to make this be probably like 50 maybe 60 pixels something you'll just have to kind of play around with I'm gonna go 60 pixels I want the range to be midtones and I want the exposure to be 50 percent alright and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to on this layer one use my burn tool and I'm gonna start in the left hand corner All right, and I'm just going to kind of make a little loop up there. Maybe you want to go over that twice. It's kind of up to you. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do, kind of same thing, I'm only it's going to be a deeper loop. Okay, so I'm going to kind of click here. All right, and give it that look there. Now what I want to do, go down a little bit further. Okay, I'm clicking here. And then I'm going to kind of do the same thing down here. So we're already we're starting to get a pretty good effect with this. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go over here to my smudge tool. And this I'll probably go about maybe 60, maybe go the same size as the other one was. And then uh, I, wa I want it to be a soft brush just like 
with the burn, you know. I want to be a soft brush. I should have said that. And then I want to go normal for the mode and strength about 35%. And then this time I'm going to click and drag. All right, and I'm going to go just a little bit above kind of where these marks are, uh, where these shadows are. Okay, you can kind of use those marks to kind of give it a little bit better of a look. So I'm just clicking and dragging those, and it's real subtle, but it, I think it looks pretty good um, when, when we do this. Uh, sometimes if, oops, sometimes if you get all the way outside, like I did down here, you know, I can control click on this flag again and then go up here and control shift I and erase that. And another thing I could do is I could control click up here and then when I use my smudge tool it won't go outside of the dotted lines. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and keep smudging that around there. until I kind of get this how I'm wanting it to look. And it's kind of just a matter of playing around with it until, you know, you kind of get it to look nice. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the background invisible, and then I can save it as a PNG and have the transparent background. So it's kind of a simple tutorial, but kind of a cool little effect uh, to where you can kind of make your flags or take your images and make them kind of look like they're part of a banner. So hopefully that's a useful trick and uh, thanks for watching.